have we are deploying this image in multicast and um, well, we'll see when there's when we, when we get two clients the multicast should start okay so I'm gonna go to my virtual machine and create two virtual machine um, new virtual machine I'm gonna name it um, multicast multicast test one and multicast test two okay take a dynamic again I'm not gonna put this um, I'm not gonna worry because I'm gonna remove that card so next next and finish then I'm gonna create a new machine so new virtual machine click next this is gonna be multicast test 2 click next 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 let me just go back to this memory and finish okay so I got the multicast test 1 and multicast test 2 so if I right click on multicast test 1 go to settings I will I will remove that adapter apply that I will add the new adapter legacy network adapter that's going to con be connected to London switch and then on multicast test 2 I'll do the same go to settings remove that adapter and add a legacy network adapter that's connected to the switch click OK now we'll start the test one start that and see the connection okay so it's gonna start ask me to press F12 I will press F12 and it's gonna start downloading the boot image from the WDS server okay I'm gonna pause the recording come back when it's something happening okay something is happening so now I have to choose um, do I want to use a capture image or boot image there's nothing to capture it's bare machine so I have to use boot image okay I'll pause the recording again come back when it's this nearly finished okay it's nearly finished well it's finished now okay so we are welcome with the uh, WDS wizard um, click here United Kingdom click next and then we have to authenticate so Contoso administrator and the passport of password okay this is the image that we want to take so click next and we take the default click next now this is gonna wait it's gonna keep going Windows setup will continue automatically once the server initiates your session so if we go back to the server um, this server here and click on the on the server and refresh this so if I go back to my multicast transmission I'll see that one server is waiting so one client machine with this IP address is waiting um, is using quite a lot of memory so time connected zero seconds um, if I refresh this it's been there for 15 seconds what is waiting is waiting for the second uh, machine to join once the second machine joins then the transmission will start okay here we can see the computer name client MAC address ID Let me just minimize this so we can see a little bit more CPU is not using any it's quite using quite a lot of memory okay so minimize this go to the second multicast test machine connect it and start that machine as well okay I'm gonna pause the recording as the time goes um, time to time to stop us waiting for a long time but here you need to press F12 to start uh, from the network so F12 okay okay this machine started a WDS wizard as well so go to the United Kingdom click next and then authenticate click OK and Windows 7 
uh, best image, that's the image that we want to take. Click next, next. Okay, Windows setup will continue automatically again once the server initiates the session. Okay, now we can see in um, multicast test one, it's going 6% is happening. Multicast test two, there's 6%. So these two machines are getting a multicast image from this deploy Windows 7. So if I click here, this is active and it's installed. Install image type is to install. Okay, thank you very much for watching my video. Today we have um, we have covered overview of Windows deployment services, implementing deployments with Windows deployment services, administering Windows deployment services. Okay, what we have covered in our uh, video videos, um, here we installed WDS on this server. Then on this server we created a boot uh, well, we added a boot image from the CD, then we created a capture image from that boot image, so we created the capture image. We uh, then went to the one Windows 7, we made it perfect just the way like uh, we want to have it, so like a master copy. And after we did that, uh, we ran the sysprep, they did remove uh, system as uh, uh, unique system identifier so like re remove system identifier and name and authentication key and so on and then we reboot that machine well we took the the network adapter off and we added the legacy network adapter we made sure that it's booting from that legacy network adapter then we booted from the wds and we selected this capture image so we send the image to wds server that image was called the install image and was something like Windows 7 best image and so on. Then we created a new machine. We booted from that uh, boot image from the new machine and we selected the image that we want to install. We logged in, we saw everything was working fine. Then we went and created two, two new images and uh, sorry, two new machines. And on those machines, we created like a multicast transmission. So the image is being sent at the same time or deployed at the same time. Um, this will go on. I'm not going to wait for it. It's 18% done already here. And let's see the site should be the same, 18%. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Um, this video has been training you how to install and manage WDS. See you in the next videos. Bye.